What's up guys? My name is Carissa. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, if you're returning, hi! I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me, always. In this video, I'm going to be doing a Chris Appleton hair tutorial with the slicked back look. And it was life-changing for me, so if you're interested in that, then please keep watching. Twenty twenty two. Big things. Can't even tell you because that's how this is gonna be. <laughs> okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm excited. My hair videos seem to do pretty well on my channel. I don't know why. I'm not a hairstylist. I am literally. It is a mess in my room. Can we talk about it? It's fine. I don't really care. I'm literally just a model, and I like to do hair and makeup, but I don't know why my hair and makeup tutorials do well. If you guys enjoy them, cool. So, first things first. This tutorial is on Sarah Ashcroft's vlog, a recent vlog. Chris Appleton does her hair in a slicked up, like, bun. So I think that, like, the, the end pony part is, like, that's optional. Do whatever you want with it. Braid it, bun it, whatever. It's more like the getting it up part that changed my life. So, my hair's clean, which was dumb, but it was dirty, so I had to. <laughs> so if you have dirty hair, this is actually more perfect for you. First things first, he said to separate the crown part. So, just gonna separate the crown all the way back. This is a massive clip for no reason, but here we are. Okay, I did buy new brushes for this tutorial so I could link them for you. So this is from Amazon, it's like a fake Mason Pearson, but it was so much cheaper. I'm just gonna brush out my hair real quick. It's a boar bristle brush. Now again, I am only one person. I only have my kind of hair. I'm really sorry if your hair is different and this tutorial doesn't feel like it's meant for you. You know, I'm not a hairstylist. I'm just showing you the way I do my own. So for me, I have a lot of hair. So I have two elastics. My dog is here chewing a bone, so sorry. I have two elastics first that I'm gonna use. And he says, so in his tutorial, he took her hair and put hairspray in it. This is the Callista Air Shape Air Hairspray. I like this one, it's the Stratosphere. And he just kind of like went through her hair and sprayed it. So when I normally do this like slick back thing, I use so much product and it was getting old. Like I just, I stopped doing it because it was how, how stiff it made my hair afterwards and it was just driving me crazy. So this one is less product. So I'm like, I have to try it. Um, two ponytails around my wrist. Then brush your hair. So he said this is the trick, right? This is like the part of the tutorial you really want to listen up for. Brushing the hair straight back and up to give you like a lifted look. So the line should be boom, like that from your eye, okay? Since the crown is separated, there's no worrying about having to keep those hairs, you know, down. Because we're doing a, a middle parted updo, if I didn't make that clear. So there's no worry about having to make that part stay down for the part when you do it like this you can really focus on like getting that sleek pulled back look i'm gonna spray it again because it just doesn't feel dirty enough to hold my hair up like this Okay, do you already see that sleekness happening? Yes, that's the Bella Hadid. Face pool. This is honestly the most important part. So if you don't do this part correctly, to me, it's kind of like, why even do it at all? Like This is the whole like facelift part. So this is really gonna lift your face. So now I'm gonna take, I didn't even take the tag off of it because that's on laziness. It's also from Amazon. I will link both these brushes below. I'm gonna take this and smooth it. Okay, now I'm going to, oh wait, other side. Ooh, that's a nice smoothing brush. Highly recommend that one, that's better than the one I've been using. Ponytail it at the crown. Ponytail placement is very important, so I would take your time on this first part. Get it right, because then the rest will be easier. So, okay, see if I can show you what I did here. I'm gonna spray it again. Smooth it. So, as you can see, it's a high pony. We left out the crown. Take the crown out. <laughs> I 
I can't tell if this is completely correct because I don't have a mirror here, it's just the camera. We're gonna do our best. So then I take the crown part down, take the end of this smoothing brush, I'm just gonna part it in the middle. I'm gonna spray it again. My hair is very, very thick, but it's also super fine in texture, so I have to spray it a lot to get some grit into it. If your hair is a different texture, you might not have to. I would judge by your own hair and like what you know about your hair. Um, mine just gets very slippery when I just cleaned it, so it's super annoying. I'm getting two more elastics because, you know what, we're gonna try one. We're gonna try one and see what happens. So now he said that you can focus on pulling this back in a part. So you don't have to be so, because it's separated, now you can really just focus on this little bit of hair, pulling it back to meet it in a part shape instead of what we were doing before, which was all together at the same time and like nearly impossible to get right without sitting there for hours. So now I'm going to use the smoothing brush and attempt to keep the part and pull this back into the pony. The thing I really like about this tutorial is that because it's double ponytailed, you're getting so much extra volume in your ponytail. Um, and I need that because I have pretty flat hair. I have a lot of hair, but it's very flat. So take your time here as well and just like spray it, work through it. I have a lot of baby hair, so trust me, I will be going in at the end and addressing those, making them look better because they do not look cute right now. We did it, second part's up. Now comes the adjustment phase for me personally. So look how, first of all, look how thick the ponytail looks because of the double ponytail. So cool. So the top, now like when I go like this in a mirror with like a white background, I can see like where it's uneven, where it needs to be smoothed. So I'm gonna take my hairspray, spray it again. Now I have this smoothing brush also from Amazon and I'm gonna run through with this. Try to smooth this top down as best I can. All about the sleekness. Now as the final step, I said I wasn't gonna use gel, but here I am with gel. This is a lighter gel though. This is the Garnier Fertis Pure Styling Gel. It's not like the Gorilla Snot Gel, which is awesome, but that shit like pulls my hair out. Um, so I'm gonna put this in. And then I'm just gonna smooth out these baby hairs. The underneath part is always the hardest for me. So if you guys have tips and tricks for this underneath part, please drop in the comments because Oh my god, my underneath part's always like droopy and two hours into the day it's like falling apart. So another trick I like to do that's like, um, you know, if you're like me and you have some sparse hair right here, I either use powder, like brown powder, and put that in there, or I also have a spray, let me get it so I can show you. This is the L'Oreal Magic Root Cover Up Spray. So you can literally, oh my god, this is going to be a mistake to do this on a mirror. Just go like this. Oh! See that? I can't tell if that looks good, but then you can just brush it. I mean, really just... It fills in all the weird spots. Have any weird balding spots so you don't want to like put your hair up? Girl, don't worry, everyone does. Like literally everyone has these weird things right here. It's totally normal, that means you're human. It doesn't even freaking matter, honestly. Like no one's real. Guys, remember this. Don't ever not do something because you feel like, oh, I don't have the face for that, or I don't have, like, X, Y, Z for that. Yes, you do. Do your shit. You think any of these celebrities out here had the natural thing that you're seeing? No, they didn't. Okay, granted, there's some really beautiful women in the world. No shade. But I'm saying, like, don't let that stop you from doing things you want to do with your hair and your makeup. Live your best life. Don't listen to the haters. I don't. That part looks so good. That's a really good base. Now, if you're just here for the slick up, this is the end of the video for you. If you want to know more about like different options, then keep watching because we're going to try, we're going to try a different ones. So the other day I did this and everyone seemed to really like it on my Instagram. So you can just braid your hair from here. So you can literally just part it in three and you can braid it. And it's very like chic and model-esque, I would say. A simple braid, you mean, you could do anything you want from here. You could do a fishtail all the way down. That would look really cute actually. Um, I'm just doing your standard, like, I don't know what this braid's called, like, yeah, I'm sure it has a name. Comment down below if you know it. I'm just doing a standard braid all the way down. 
I thought this looked so cute the other day. Tutorial. So I just did the Chris Appleton tutorial. So there's a braid. How cute is that? That's probably what I'm going to do today. But you can also do like wrap it around. Leave these hairs like wrap it around. Put in some bobby pins right here. Spike these out with hairspray. How freaking cute is that? I went with the braid because I have a casting later and I just thought it looked so cute and chic. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I tried to do this one faster than the past one because there was like a lot of people complaining about the length of the video. So this one was quicker. If it was too quick for you, like right down below. And I hope it helped you. Links are all down below for the products you might need. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want to support my channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. Also, here are my Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, all that stuff. Follow me there. Would love to see you. I have tons of tutorials on those channels as well. So join the family. Love you guys. Bye.